this is from Sarah, who's been looking for a new horse for a long time and she's got one. So I would love some getting to know you exercises to try with my new horse to build trust and confidence. I'll, I'll give you the three P's that I've, that I've sort of made up. So purpose, patterns and praise. They're, they're, the, they're the three big things. So when, when I say uh, purpose, if you sort of uh, do something and just waft around your horse and, you know, you can build, a, build trust that way, no problems, but your horse can get a bit sort of, um, I don't know, some of them get irritated, some get a little bit complacent and start to push you around. But if you do things with a bit of purpose, the horses are interested they're, what are you doing? And you build that respect. So, so think of that. And patterns, horses love patterns because they, they learn to read how things are going to happen. I, and you do have to be careful, as I said in the last question, they can start to anticipate. So when you start to anticipate, you need to change it up and make sure they're following you. But patterns are a great way to build confidence as well. Um, and then praise. Give them praise when they do something right. And these, they're, they're, the, they're the three main things to build a good relationship. We all want um, our horses to trust us, but they have to be happy to follow us as well. That's a, bit, that's a big part of it. So with that in mind, a couple of ideas could be to, um, there's a few good patterns in the program. You know, even the bending patterns where I teach them to flex. And then flex and turn, that's a nice little pattern. Um, leading, you can you can use the pole, hold a hold a jump pole, a light one if you've got one, in, in between your arms so it sticks sticks out to the sides. Walk, stop, pivot, and teach them to follow you around. It's also a good one. And when you've got some good foundations, then start to test yourself. Put some obstacles in front of you. Um, Go for go for walks out and but have a bit of a path in mind and you might have some trot poles or some little logs to go over, you know those those sort of things hills to go up and down, they're they're great things but make sure make sure your your foundations are there. Perfect. So, yeah. Um, good luck, Sarah. We can't wait to meet him.